Hello, everyone. What we will learn from this mission is self-rescue actions in cold water after abandoning ship. Most people believe that the most important causes of death after abandonment of a ship are drowning or death from starvation. However, there are numerous examples that prove that the main cause of death after abandoning a boat is exposure to water, especially in cold water, i.e. The greatest danger to the person who falls into the water is what is commonly known as the phenomenon of supercooling. Therefore, this mission focuses on self-rescue actions in cold water after abandoning a boat. Knowledge and understanding of these actions will help the survivor to overcome difficulties, maintain life, prolong survival, and ultimately be rescued. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the learning objectives of Task 1. Target 1. Understanding the symptoms of hypothermia in its different stages. Target 2. Understand the reference time for survival in different water temperatures. Target 3. Master self-rescue actions in cold water after abandoning ship. Target 4. Mastery of the knowledge of the test points of Task 1. Then let's look at the Task 1. Content 1. Symptoms of hypothermia at different stages. Content to dot reference times for survival in different water temperatures. Content 3 Self-Rescue Operations in Cold Water After Abandoning Ship Content 4 Examination Point Knowledge Test First, let's learn about Content 1 Symptoms of Hypothermia at Different Stages According to research, the thermal conductivity of water is 26 times faster than that of air. Therefore, after abandoning a boat and falling into the water, if the survivor is not rescued in time, the body is exposed to the cold water, so that the body heat is lost and the phenomenon of low body temperature occurs. That is, what is commonly known as the phenomenon of overcooling. So, let's take a look at it. Symptoms of hypothermia at different stages. One when the body temperature drops below 35 degrees centigrade, people will suffer from low temperature coma. To when the body temperature drops below 31 C, a person may lose consciousness. 3. When the body temperature drops below 28 C, a person can develop hardening of the blood vessels. 4. When the body temperature drops below 24 C to 26 C, death occurs. Therefore, when we understand the symptomatic performance of overcooling at different stages, it will help to adopt appropriate emergency action for patients with overcooling. Content 2. Reference times for survival in different water temperatures. When the ship is abandoned and falls into the water, the reference time for the survival in different water temperatures is as follows. 1. When the water temperature is below 0 C, the survivors expect to survive for less than 15 minutes. To when the water temperature is below 2 C, the survivors will expect to survive for less than 45 minutes. 3. When the water temperature is between 2 and 4 C, the survivors are expected to survive for less than 1.5 hours. 4. When the water temperature is between 4 and 10 C, the survivors are expected to survive for less than 3 hours. 5. When the water temperature is between 10 and 15 C, the survivors are expected to survive for less than 6 hours. 6. When the water temperature is between 15 and 20 C, the survivors are expected to survive for less than 12 hours. 7. When the water temperature exceeds 20 C, the survivor expects to survive, depending on the fatigue level of the survivor. Content 3. Self-rescue operations in cold water after abandoning ship. 1. Before abandoning the ship into the water, you should wear more warm and waterproof clothes. Cover your head, hands and feet and try to put on life jackets and thermal insulation clothes. 2. Alcohol or alcoholic beverages are prohibited after drowning. 3. After falling into the water, board the lift raft or other floating objects as soon as possible to shorten the soaking time in the water. For if not on a lift raft or other floating object, do not do unnecessary swimming in the water. In cold water, the survivor may shiver violently with severe pain, which is the instinctive reaction of the human body. But there is no danger. The most important thing is to stay as still as possible in the water to slow the body temperature. 
five need to take action as soon as possible before losing full use of both hands. For example, turn on the signal light and locate the whistle. Six, in order to slow down the loss of body temperature, in addition to remaining still in the water, but also to maintain the correct posture. For example, the first, the single position, as shown in figure one, is the help position, legs together and stretched to the chest, elbows close to the side, arms crossed in front of the life jacket, floating on the water. The second type, multi-person posture, such as figure two, that is, huddle posture, more than one person together shoulder to shoulder in a circle, curled legs and feet, in order to reduce the spread of body heat, mutual aid and mutual benefit, to save energy, waiting for rescue. Content four, test site knowledge test. The knowledge point of this task, we have finished learning. Next, we will carry out the test site knowledge summary assessment. According to the test site test type requirements, let's test the first question type, non-topic. The content of this task, we have finished learning. Thank you all.